Hello everyone and welcome to Game 3 in this King of the Hill series, FXO's JKS versus LL of Seolhyung here on Metropolis. JKS spawning at the 12 o'clock position as the blue zerg. Meanwhile, L, and L, of, L, or L of Seolhyung spawning as the red Terran. So Seolhyung, Terran versus zerg. And we'll see how Metropolis does as a map. So far, JKS has been playing two very different styles of play in game one very straight up standard zerg in game two opening up with a rather unusual unorthodox play that really um, slowed down the protoss fast expansion perhaps that's all he really wanted to do as he perhaps is unable to really do a um, fight against a protoss fast expand and now in comes the scv scv looking to build up a front door supply depot perhaps doing a barracks wall in as a drone now making its way over the drone gonna come down to the six o'clock position first not find his opponent as we now see an scv uh, moving now and interestingly enough the scv building a proxy barracks almost in plain sight but no, it looks as though the drone will spot this. The drone now going to come up the ramp. The supply depot is there, but where is the barracks? And that is what exactly JKS needs to find out. You can see that a gas is already being placed down by Seo Hyung as well. A standard 13 gas. And JKS perhaps is going to scout around with this drone looking for the barracks, even though the barracks is hiding off over here. JKS looking to build a hatchery at his natural expansion. Not going to be stopped anytime soon. We're going to see this one barracks about to be completed as an SCV. Now making his way out across the map. Perhaps placing down a bunker here. That would be a prime position for a bunker. Limit the surface area while... Um, yeah, limit the surface area and then still within range on that hatchery. It generally works out well as we're going to see this drone still look for that one barracks and still not be able to find it that drone still wandering around we're going to see a marine is being trained a second marine already being added and we already have an upgrade to an orbital command so this one drone knows that something is up we'll see what's going to happen next as the drone now going after the scv scv taking a bit of damage down to 25 hit points down to 20 hit points 15 will it get taken out down to 10 as the drone and the scv now battle it out once more bunker is being established right behind the mineral line here the drones are going after the bunker but the bunker um looks like it is being repaired at just the right rate is it gonna be enough as the drones are now trying to perhaps come back around the scv there is a marine now and the marine trying to come back in and is the marine gonna be able to jump inside yes scv is repairing and this bunker will stick around and cause a bit of problems one drone does get taken out and now the marine inside the bunker trying to take down the hatchery before the hatchery is able to train up a queen more zerglings will be added metabolic boost and now a front door with a factory being established the extractor has been completed by jks here this one scv working very very hard to try and keep this bunker alive and if this is a smart play by seo hyung what he can do is he can actually load up the scv and then unrally it so it's right here if he does do that that scv will be able to just constantly constantly repair without getting attacked whatsoever as we are now getting up a queen the queen does take about another 25 seconds to go the hatchery is about at 900 hit points one zergling does get taken out i believe that queen will be completed well in time but it is delaying the mining and forcing a lot more zerglings to be trained queen will be coming out in, in a moment and now we'll see what will be happening next that queen now taking a lot of damage scv is on auto repair trying to repair it is doing a great job so far but the zerglings were able to finish it off and now with no more repairing whatsoever the marines are gonna all fall and i really think if he had missed or if he had changed the rally point kept the scv right there and forced the queen to try to take down the scv um, the queen would have had to move over a little bit more, but the queen should have still been able to take down the SCV now that I think about it. So probably not much of a difference. Terran up by about eight food now. He's getting up some more supply depots, now training up more Marines. It looks like it will be followed up with a Hellion cover fire drop. Hellion's now trying to test the front door, but there is a spine crawler now on the low part of the ramp right there. 
We'll see whether or not we are going to get a drop here. That is probably the perfect place. There is Overlords in position here. Not a good place for a cover fire drop. Only this place is a good place for a cover fire drop. As now the Terran player is going into uh, his own expansion. SCV looks like it may get destroyed. Nope, it does not get destroyed as the SCV barely survives we see hellions now making their making another move and overlords may get pushed back how is this all going to work out as the marines are trying to take down this overlord the overlord now down to 58 hit points is it going to get destroyed yes it looks like it will get destroyed but he is losing a lot of position as the hellions now perhaps going to do another drop up onto the high ground marines are in position here zerglings now trying to come over Two more Hellions should join in on this fight. Yes, they are going to join in. Two Queens are here as well. And here we go. Hellions and Marines dropping and engaging. The Marines and the Zerglings are all getting surrounded. This is not looking good. The Hellion does get destroyed. Hellion now lowering back onto the low ground. As JKS now 47 food compared to 53. Or 46 now. And So Hyung losing a lot more than I think he bargained for. And also floating a lot more minerals than he needs. He really needs to crank up his production. He's not training up medevacs. He is getting up some siege tanks. He does not have his additional base. And without the additional base for extra gas, all he can really train is one siege tank at a time and no medevacs whatsoever. Zerglings now looking to come in. However, I believe the Hellions should be able to handle some of those Zerglings. Zerglings are dwindling in numbers. And now there we go. Three low hit point Hellions retreating back home. Some damage was dealt. JKS now behind by about seven food as a siege tank and some marines finishing off the extractor over here a new tech lab now being added onto the barracks a stim pack and combat shield most likely coming in a new command center also being built at the same time so sail hyung already looking to establish up his third base even though his second base is not yet quite done zerling is now retreating or perhaps aggr um, being aggressive all the way across the map it looks as though these Hellions will get a nice repair job once they do land. Zerglings unable to make their way in. The Hellions do um, get unloaded. And now we'll see how many SCVs do come over to try to repair these units here. Seo Hyung sitting at 58 over 62. 62. JKS sitting at 62 over 70. The third base now established by JKS. JKS going to be able to run off of six extractors in just a moment and that's exactly what he needs when he is getting to tier um tier two tier two he will need a lot of gas perhaps setting up a spire and that should give him if he does go for a spire and saves up that gas should get about seven additional um mutilis, but no instead going for an infestation pit Fungal growth followed by banelings, a very, very strong choice. We'll see how it does against all of these siege tanks, though. As siege tanks do deal additional damage against armored units, and those infestors are slow armored units. SCV needs to finish off this front door here. Not quite sure what this is all waiting for. The Zergans may be able to walk straight in, and yes, they are able to do exactly that. And Seo Hyung in a little bit of trouble as the Zerglings now dealing back damage to that mineral line supply depot unable to be raised scvs now coming back over it looks as though a new orbital command has already been added marines and siege tanks now making their way as we now see an attack here spine crawler on the front that spine crawler should mo perhaps just unroot uproot itself it is going to get destroyed rather quickly one more shot and there it goes creep tumors all getting destroyed as well and the final creep tumor over here looks like it will get taken down and all of this creep will recede. JKS losing a lot of the creep that he has worked so hard to spread out. But the Bainings are still going to find a lot of those Marines. Queens are now inside here as well. The Queen's going to finish off a lot of the siege tanks. And JKS with a lot of transfusions saving his units. And now Seo Hyung, the Terran, is once again behind now by about 40 food. JKS playing extremely well so far in this stretch of games and at this point jks running on three bases and he has a significant harvester advantage 63 compared to 32 only seven workers have been killed so it doesn't really feel like seo hyung was trying to go for the long haul unable to get that many workers up marines now battling out the marines still do not have stim we are at the 13 minute mark in this game no stim um there is combat shield but no weapons upgrade either Zergling down over here will get cleaned up. There it goes. Destructible rocks may be destroyed as well. 
as now what So Hyung looking to catch back up now only down by about 25 food and we'll see what JKS does to follow this up. Macro hatch is being established. Spore crawler now being placed down once more. And it looks as though that is just there to tr perhaps try and prevent any serious drops. Zerglings now wandering around. Supply depot is being added here. And is it going to be enough? Are the Zerglings going to perhaps be able to run by? The Zerglings now looking to destroy the destructible rocks here. And if they do, um, that would work out fairly well as I don't believe that it is currently scouted out. There are Marines here. The Marines are going to fire from the safety behind the supply depot the zerglings do decide to back off as some zerglings are pecking at these rocks Sel Hyung does not see those rocks he needs to get a scout over there and in a hurry otherwise he will find zerglings inside his base once more and I'm still surprised that hatchery now finally being placed down I was gonna say surprised that JKS has not looked to expand you can already see a hatchery looking to be rebuilt there as overlords are now being spread across the map to make sure that there are absolutely um, no drops coming in from any true side marines. Now finishing off a couple of those zerglings. The zerglings now um, retreating again. Burrow has been researched. And we'll see what's going to happen next still. Destructible rocks here. Down to 700 hit points. Level 1 weapons upgrade. Um, allowing the zerglings to deal what 3 damage per attack instead of 2. So 50% increase. Medevac now flying across the gap here. There are Zerglings in position to try and stop this drop. There are also Infestors making their way over. And if a Fungal Growth does hit those Medevacs, that is going to be a very, very bad day. Marines now up on the high ground. And what is going to happen here if he does stim and go straight up after those units? It may actually work out. What is going to happen here? Spinecrawler now going to get focused down. The Spinecrawler gets destroyed quickly. Zerglings now making their way over. Fungal Growth going to land. And that is going to be all she wrote for all of those Marines. Zerglings now backing off. There are still Zerglings here. I do not know. Seol Hyung knows that those rocks are destroyed. Yes, he knows that those rocks are destroyed. But still has not moved any defense over there as of yet. Marines and Marauders now making their way in. Going to clean up some of those Overlords. Overlords have been taken out. But Zerglings now running rabid inside the base. Seol Hyung now making their way over with Marines. Marines going to destroy many of those Zerglings. The Zerglings do get taken out. As there is still one Medevac off here. JKS sitting on a 30 food advantage, but a, more importantly, a 40 harvester advantage. And the only thing that's keeping So Hyung in the game is still those mules. Siege tank up on the front door. So Hyung needs to move out. He does not have level 1 weapons upgrade on those siege tanks yet. He does have an armory as indicated by the level 2 weapons upgrade. We are going into adrenal glands and we, I believe we are getting some corruptors. We'll see if... We are going to be going into Broodlords anytime soon as we already have the Greater Spire and now the Katonis Plating once again being re-researched or being researched. Zerglings now looking to just deal some damage into the Mineral Line. There are some Zerglings hiding off in the Mineral Line already. They can just unburrow at any time and cause prob problems. Banelings not detonating there. One Zergling, two Banelings could have taken out multiple Marines as the Zerglings are now going after some of those SCVs again. You can see the medevac. There are a group of marines here. The zerglings now coming after those targets. The marines, oh, a nice quick pickup. And now those units are retreating once more. Are those banelings going to perhaps reburrow themselves? And what is going to happen here? The marines are now moving out. Oh, here is a very, very large group of units. Banelings could melt. There you go. So much damage. So many marines killed. Fungal growth on the front. JKS losing a lot. JKS actually dominating this, but losing a couple of those infestors, he cannot afford to lose those infestors as that's really what's handling. But Seo Hyung once again comes back in with Zerglings inside the third base. Nice counterattack by Seo Hyung. The infestors are now once again on the move. The infestors are currently burrowed, so a scanner sweep would reveal them. Are they going to be able to get back in time? I don't understand how burrowing actually helps you move faster in under creep, but we'll see how that all works out as the, the Broodlords are now engaging Marauders and Marines. Fungal growth, not enough Marines in this group. The Broodlords pretty much going to be able to finish off all of these units as now Seo Hyung with a whole bunch of medevacs and not enough Marines having problems. A fungal growth hitting multiple units here. And now the Broodlords able to catch back up once more. 
Orbital Command is now once again land has landed. There's uh, more units getting destroyed. The Broodlords are unable to make their way over more and more Marines getting destroyed here. There were Banelings ready to detonate. Not quite sure why they didn't uh, when there was more units on top. But really JKS showing why Terran players need to constantly have a Raven with them. As Ravens would have really saved Seo Hyung's attack force, saving many of those Marines and then perhaps taking down a couple of these Broodlords. Broodlords are not upgraded. Ultralists are upgraded um, 3, 5, 6 armor against only a, an 8 dealing damage Marine. The Ultralists looking to just absorb as much damage and now there is the GG. JKS does the hat trick as JKS wins 3 in a row. Will he be able to get 4? Stay tuned for game 4 in this series between Seo Hyung versus JKS.